Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part one of my bedroom makeover. It's a really small single room, as you can see, white walls, but I really like this nook area. I think it's really good. First I wanted to add my wardrobe here, but I will do an office space instead, since there's also light in this area, which is really good. The carpet is green and super ugly, so I will cover most of it with a big rug. Also the curtain has to go, and the curtain rod too. So first I painted the walls, they were kinda off-white and dirty, so I wanted to give them a fresh coat of paint. Oh, nothing feels better than freshly painted white walls, honestly. I removed the curtain rod and there were like 10 holes in the wall. I don't know what the previous tenants were doing, but I filled them in, so looking good now. Now I just have to start bringing in the furniture and assembling it. So I got this really nice jute rug from H&M, I got a small and a large one. The small one is gonna go to the office, um, the size of course is not perfect, but I'm fine with it. So it looks like this, I really like it, of course there's a gap there, but that's fine. I'm gonna put the wardrobe there so the floor won't be visible. And actually I ended up moving the rug to the other side, so the wardrobe is going on the right side and the bed is going on the left side and it will cover the floor. That's gonna be a small section that won't be covered, but honestly I don't mind. So for my office space I'm adding a pine table, which was custom cut, I got it on eBay. I also got these pine table legs, which I'm going to attach to the tabletop. Of course I realized later I should have added them angled, so I had to remove the fixing plates and drill new holes, which I don't have a footage of, but just letting you know that everyone makes mistakes, it happens. It's looking really good in the space, on the left side I will make a custom bookcase. And since there's a pipe, there's a gap between the table and the wall. I was thinking to cut a piece out, but I don't want to ruin the table by having a hole there. I want to be able to use this table even when I move out, and in the new space it would look bad. I'm starting to assemble the bed. Since the space is really small, I can't have a double bed, so I bought this IKEA day bed, which is basically two single beds. And you can make a double of them, or, or use it as a single bed or sofa, so it's really good that I have the option to have a double bed if I want to. I knew that I wouldn't have a lot of space between the bed and the table, but seeing it now, it's gonna look weird. So I'm just gonna move the table to different places to see if I find a better spot. 
So I definitely don't like it on the right side. The radiator is there and the table is not high enough to cover it. So that's a no. By the window just looks weird. I don't like it. I moved the bed and I don't hate it, but I still prefer it in the nook area. Sometimes you just have to move things around to see what works and what doesn't. And I won't have a lot of space for my chair, but it still can work. I'm just adding white padding and we'll add some cushions later. Hey guys, um, so I started to assemble the furniture, uh, but I realized I didn't order a piece. Uh, it's called cross brace, I think it's a metal X, what you put on the back of your wardrobe. Um, I can't assemble it without it because it's gonna be shaky, um, so yeah, so I can't finish it. Which is annoying and frustrating because I can't continue with the, with the makeover. I really like the white walls and the neutral colors, um, that's the color scheme I usually go for. But I started to put everything together and I know that I didn't put up the curtains yet and a decoration, so it doesn't feel that cozy. But I just feel like it's too bright and too sterile looking which I don't really like. Um, it's alright, but I'm not loving it. And I was going through on Pinterest and I saw some pictures, I'm gonna put them up here. Um, so I really like this blue color. I know it's completely different, uh, it's dark, but if I uh, add white and bright colors next to it, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna brighten up the space, so I think it's fine. In the office area behind me, I'm gonna use a different color, like a beigey brownish color so it's gonna be separated from the blue and it's gonna be a separated area um, that's gonna be my office and I hope it's gonna go well the two colors together but I think so so I'm gonna go to the hardware store now and get the paints and start painting so there's gonna be two colors in the room I'm using a leveler to draw a straight line so I know where to stick the tape well a bigger leveler would be nice but I have this small one only so I'm just gonna work with this So I got this really nice soft truffle color and this vintage denim which I love and I hope they are gonna go well with each other. I wanted something that was more brownish but I'm hoping it's gonna be good. color is beautiful but not exactly what I wanted and actually I hate it in the space. Nice color but not for this space so I have to go again to the hardware store and get another paint. So we have a store close to us but they don't have a lot of options. There was only two brown. I picked this one I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna lie, at this point I'm freaking out because it kinda looks like, you know what. After the first coat it looks like this, not bad, hopefully two more coats and I will get a nice finish. I definitely need to paint the pipe. 
After three coats of paint it looks like this, it's still drying but I like it actually. Instead of properly painting the walls, the owner or I don't know who used lining paper on the walls and that's why there are these bubbles or I don't know how to call them because it doesn't handle the paint well. Also here you can see the edges of the paper, they just did a horrible job with it. It would have taken so much time and effort to remove them and start from scratch so honestly I don't care, I just keep it as it is. It's not my home, just a rental so it's fine. This is the final result. I really love the color actually. I'm adding this beautiful pendant light to the space. It's from IKEA and it's only 13 pounds, which is a great deal. And in the evening when you turn the light on, it looks amazing. So I'm starting to paint the other part of the room using this vintage denim color. I know it's a small space and you should use only light colors but I'm just gonna go with it, I really like it and it's still not super dark, I think it will look good. After the first coat it looks like this, really bad at the moment, uh, they probably applied two more coats. Of course you can see the same issue on the walls but that's fine. On the radiator I'm using the same color but a paint that's for wood and metal. I have finished painting, I love the end result. I'm happy that I stepped out of my comfort zone and used some colors. Put up the curtain rod and the same light that I used in the office. I bought the Iver shelving unit for my wardrobe and it took some time to assemble it, especially the chest of drawers, which I think it was faulty because the screw holes were not lined up perfectly. But I managed to put everything together. You can buy these doors at IKEA and I'm going to attach one to the shelving unit. Next to the wardrobe I'm adding this mirror. Maybe I will attach it to the wall but for now I'm just leaving it like this. 
So remember I got this store for my wardrobe. I'm gonna use the other one to do an IKEA hack. It's gonna be a headboard for my bed since it's the perfect size. I'm just gonna cut this wood piece in half. Those are gonna be the legs. simply using no nails glue to attach the pieces to the headboard. I'm drilling in a hole on each side so I can secure the headboard to the bed. I know that in this case, if I want to use the bed as a double bed, I have to remove the headboard, but honestly, it's not going to happen that often, so I'm fine with it. I want you to keep in mind that this headboard is more like a decorative piece. It's good to hold my pillows, but it's not sturdy enough, so I won't be able to lean on it, it would break. There's a gap between the mattress and the headboard, but I wanted it to be higher, and also the pillows will cover most of it. So this was the first part of the makeover, thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to see the second part of this makeover.